Our next guest who's joining us uh, has been pushing for a national moratorium on foreclosures. He says it is time for the administration to pick a side on the issue and take action. John Taylor is the president and CEO of the National Community Reinvestment Coalition. He joins us this morning from Boston. Um, John, Hans Nichols was just painting the picture from the administration's point of view that it isn't about picking a side. It's not black and white. It's got to be a decision about what's good for the overall economy. Given that we have heard that uh, B of A intends to reopen the foreclosure process on over 100,000 different cases. Have you changed your, your position here? Not at all. I mean, uh, I'm waiting for someone, anyone, uh, who says that foreclosures, uh, forestalling foreclosures or modifying loans is going to hurt the economy. Actually, what we do know is foreclosures are the bane of our economic recovery. In fact, they're probably the single most uh, 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 item that we can point to that uh, collapsed our economy in the first place. So, well, how I mean, is I mean it? no one likes hearing that somebody's losing their home, but that's not the point. The, 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 point, is yeah, it's not the that point is that <laughs> clearing the point is out the inventory <laughs> is what the administration and other economists are concerned about. And in fact, right. the administration has says that, that they haven't really found many improperly foreclosed upon. Right. So uh, let's start with uh, properties that are vacant or abandoned. There's no reason that those shouldn't continue to head towards foreclosure and be foreclosed on and then sold into the market. But if you uh, fast track the process for foreclosures and we add another several million and uh, Amherst Securities is, is uh, saying we're looking at another 11 million foreclosures. If we, we have that visit our economy, I will tell you, we will not see a recovery very soon. So there are a number of homeowners, a lot, who are still working, still want to continue to be responsible homeowners, pay on their mortgage, mm -hmm. but they're simply in a kind of product or mortgage that is unsustainable for them. And, you know, part of this problem, if not the single most uh, greatest part of it, is the fact that all these unsustainable loans were made in the first place with terms and conditions that were uh, predatory, fraudulent, uh, you know, uh, unsavory. And mm -hmm. so we're sort of overlooking that and now that the people are in underwater and their, their loan interest terms have changed, their interest rates have gone up, uh, uh, terms and conditions have changed and such that their income doesn't support the current mortgage they're in. Right. The most sensible thing to do is get those things modified and refinanced so as many homeowners as possible who are responsible can stay in their home. So you would be fine with a refinancing program, not a moratorium on foreclosures? Well, the thing, the, the reason you need a moratorium, sorry, the reason you need a moratorium is we have such a backlog and so many millions and more foreclosures are coming down the pipeline that there, there simply isn't enough capacity for us, that is, counselors, mediators, legal services attorneys, mm -hmm. the government, people who are working with lenders and services and homeowners to be able to work out a meaningful, a sustainable modifications that keep people in their homes. So we, we need to buy some time. And look, let me just say that. I mean, Citibank, for example, has but a thing time called costs money. But time costs money here. I mean, Elizabeth <laughs> Warren, who's an advisor to the president, advisor to the Treasury, was on this program. She said, I mean, and she's the advocate for the consumer. She gave credit for the industry, the banking industry, for taking this on and trying to resolve it themselves. B of A says they've got a thousand people working on this right now. Yeah. Why do you think right, that, right now. that a, a government agency would be more efficient in sort it out than uh, the agency carrying out the, the mortgage lending itself, the actual private sector. I'm sorry, she thinks a government agency would be more proficient. No, in I'm asking out. you why you think that. Why you think there should be oh, a no, national I, moratorium? Because I, I think that, first off, the millions of homeowners who are still working who could stay in their homes, we don't want those going adding to the, the pile of foreclosures that are going to drive this market down. We, we've, we've got to find a way mm -hmm. and we need time, whether it's through a stay or a moratorium or just a step back, to be able to help as many homeowners stay in their homes as possible. And that means the government and the private sector and, yeah. and groups working together to make that happen. Well, maybe we will see some sort of uh, refinancing initiative, John. Um, thank you very much for joining us, the CEO of National Community Reinvestment Coalition, um, and, and, and is, is making the important point about the, the human side of all of this.